Hello everyone and thanks for tuning back in Alessandro the Crypto here. I hope you're all doing fine. In this video we're gonna have to analyze again the Bitcoin price because we are still trading here at around $19,000 and nothing is happening much but as expected uh, this uh, week started weak and of course we're gonna have to see if we're gonna see that nice uh, rally that in my opinion still can start in the not so distant future. We also have on uh, Thursday the CPI meeting that's why I think that maybe towards the end of the week we are going to see a bit more volatility because currently we're just flattening out here so if you want to trade this upcoming volatility that in my opinion is about to come then make it over on Bybit this is the number one trading exchange if you use the sign up link that you find in the video description you can get four thousand dollars in trading bonus and now my friends let's dive here straight into the four hour time frame for bitcoin because we are still falling here uh, down towards this previous resistance trend line which now should be acting as a new support currently at around eighteen thousand six hundred dollars it is possible that we are reaching this price level but it looks like that the four hour time frame is ready for a little bounce since we are in extreme oversold condition and we didn't see any kind of uh, bounces so far. So I think that at least for the immediate short term we could maybe see a nice rally even up to test the top of the Kelton channels at around $19,600. But as I told you I think that until uh, Thursday we will not see too much uh, uh, volatility and probably also not a real breakout until then. So in my opinion we still have to wait on the sideline and if we switch over here into the daily time frame, you can see that currently we're still getting rejected by the median line of the Keltner channels and the bottom is here currently at $18,300. So if we're gonna get the bad news uh, uh, on the next CPI meeting, we maybe are coming back down to retest the eighteen dollars to $19,000 area before eventually we see another bounce. I still expect that the potential bottom is in and that we will not crash down towards $18,000 again, but just that you have that in your mind. If we see daily closes below $18,000, it's very likely that first we're coming down towards the $16,000 to $14,000 region, and at the end, over time, also most likely reach the 12K area, which currently is still the support trend line of this falling broadening wedge that we're forming in the weekly time frame. And uh, since we are still very oversold here and the RSI is still below the resistance trend line here, it is still possible that we get another uh, pullback to maybe retest here the support trend line of the of this falling wedge that we have in the RSI in the weekly time frame. But over time, this will need to break out here to the upside. Even if we have here a fake out to the downside or so, at the end, we have to see here a breakout to the upside. Those are bullish patterns and usually in the RSI, they are working out perfectly. So as I told you, my friends, it's just a matter of time until we're getting a nice rally. The question then is, of course, uh, what will happen? What are the targets then? And also what will happen once we are reaching the targets? Because I still expect that if the bottom is in here with the low that we created here at $17,600, you can see that we're forming this nice uh, channel. And uh, once we're gonna have another bounce, it's very likely that we're coming up again to attack it currently at 25K. And if we were able to push higher, then of course, uh, uh, the next target is here the top of the Keltner channels currently at around thirty thousand dollars perfectly matching here uh, the resistance trend line of this falling broadening wedge so price wise uh, it is still very critical and we are at a important support level here for bitcoin the 18 to 19 thousand dollars area because if we are starting to create lower lows in the bigger picture then it's very very likely that over time we will head l way lower probably down towards 12k before eventually uh, we're gonna see a nice rally to attack again this resistance trend line but um, since the sentiment is so bearish but we uh, have a positive uh, uh, things going on for example uh, the bitcoin hash rate i think i have it somewhere over here i can show it to you because as you can see we have a huge spike in the bitcoin hash rate so the bitcoin hash rate currently is an is, is at its all-time high and those are very very bullish uh, indicators that uh, bitcoin will uh, be here tomorrow it will be here in one year in 10 years so Bitcoin has very good fundamentals and the price currently it is not reflecting that and that's why I think that it's just a matter of time until we are going to see also a price appreciation uh, of that and if we go into the monthly or weekly time frame you can see that we are in very oversold condition similar like we were also in previous bear markets and at the other hand we are in extreme overbought condition 
uh, over in the US dollar index. So once we are getting here by uh, sell signals, like we also had here, for example, in 2015, in such overbought condition, way outside the, the top of the Keltner channels, like we are right now, then I think that we will start a major rally in the crypto and stock market and a huge corrective phase, uh, or at least we go for a very long time sideways in the US dollar index until everything is uh, uh, stable again because currently we are seeing most currencies uh, crashing down against the dollar and that won't last forever my friends everything has to come back down uh, sooner or later so i am still bearish here for the US dollar index uh, at least um, for the long term because i think that the potential top is here in the cards we have several several drives of bearish divergences in the weekly time frame and also here in the daily we have to see uh, if we are not able to create higher highs it is possible that this was already the top and that we most likely are in here for a nice corrective phase but we need to have daily closes below the bottom of the Keltner channels so below the support here otherwise we're gonna remain in this huge uptrend we never had daily closes below the bottom of the Keltner channels and this is what I'm waiting for uh, to call the absolute uh, trend reversal so I think a trend reversal is still in the cards and very in close but um, so far we are not seeing uh, anything happen uh, that uh, could signal that the trend reversal has started also here nasdaq today is tanking a bit the european stock markets are also tanking a bit we didn't lose important uh, support levels uh, but here nasdaq must maintain the, the bottom of the kelton channels in the weekly time frame right at uh, 10,700. otherwise uh, here it's very very likely that also here we could have a huge crash down towards 9,500. this is also a very very important support trend line which in the past always acted as a very very strong support trend line whenever we had huge crashes and um, if we have a look also into ethereum here same story for the worst case scenario watch out here first for one thousand dollars if the bottom of the Kelton channels in the weekly time frame is broken then it's also very very likely that here we could have a potential huge waterfall even down towards five hundred dollars so towards the support trend line of this falling broadening wedge but if things are starting uh, to rally up here in the, in the next coming days and weeks then i think that ethereum could uh, be here on the way again to test the median line of the Kelton channels at one thousand six hundred dollars and over time also the top of the Kelton channels at two thousand two hundred dollars so everything in my opinion is depending what uh, of course nasdaq is doing next and also the us dollar index if we have seen here a potential top at least for the immediate short term that for the next coming weeks and months we could start a corrective phase latest once we're getting here a sell signal in the monthly time frame then i think that this will be the huge trend reversal that everyone is waiting for and until then we most likely for the best case scenario are just going sideways especially here for the bitcoin price and for the worst case scenario we could see a huge drop even down towards 12 Okay, that is still in the cards i don't expect that but just that you have that in your radar if um, if shit will hit the fan my friends because this will happen once we have daily and weekly closes below eighteen thousand dollars so that's why this uh, price at, uh, here at eighteen thousand dollars is very very important that we need to hold this support here in the bigger time frames especially in the weekly because otherwise it's very very likely that we will continue to fall to way lower levels and that we will need way more weeks and months until we're gonna start at least a bear market rally or even a big trend reversal but i still expect that the scenario that the bottom is in and that here over time we will most likely head towards 30k and potentially even break higher um will play out but only time will tell at least this is my expectations and also this is what the charts are telling us in the bigger time frames like the monthly time frame and with that said guys i'm gonna wrap it up for now if you like the content make sure to hit that like button subscribe to the channel i do daily ta videos check out all the features of bybit with the video tutorials that i did they all are linked in the video description and uh, feel free to support all of my other social media platforms you can subscribe also to them they're all linked here in the video description so thank you again very much for watching my friends and we're gonna see us all in the next one bye